life cycle assessment of bread. For the contents of this video, firstly, what is bread? Secondly, the life cycle of bread. Thirdly, the impacts of bread. And lastly, the mitigation. The first part, what is bread? Bread is actually a piece of flour and water cooked over or surrounded by heat. Have you ever wondered where do bread came from? Let me tell you about the origins of bread or the history of bread. Bread is believed to exist in the 8000 BC. The earliest bread was made in or around 8000 BC in the Middle East, specifically in Egypt. Throughout the world, in the following centuries, countries developed their own versions of bread. Some live it, others not. On 450 BC, Romans invented the water milling system and they took bread to what was subsequently regarded as an art form. During this time, richer Romans considered white bread as higher quality and more suited to the educated and wealthy. On 600 BC, the Persians had invented a windmill system for milling grain. In 1834, the steel roller mill was invented in Switzerland. This was actually a revolutionary in the world of bread baking. Instead of crushing the grain, the roller system broke it open instead, thereby making it easier to separate the endosperm, germ, and bran. In the 20th century, the addition of chemicals came into play. Bread became whiter, softer, and lasted much longer. The flour was heavily processed, but the government enforced the adding back of mineral and vitamins to enrich the flour. Next, we will get into the types of bread. Before that, I would like to apologize if I mistakenly pronounce the names of the bread. Austrian wheat bun, or called as Kaiserzamel. Belgian sweet bread or creamy, Bulgarian ceremony round bread, Pogasha, Zek braided roll, Puska, Romanian Easter cheese bread, Pasca, French sourdough bread, Baguette, Greek flat bread, Pita, Italian flat bread, Pogasha. There are many types of bread in the world. However, for this last type of assessment, we will only cover the typical white bread that is widely distributed throughout everywhere. Part 2. The Life Cycle of Bread In life cycle assessment, there are 5 different stages. Firstly, raw material extraction. Secondly, the manufacturing process Thirdly, the distribution Fourthly, the usage of product Lastly, the end of life So firstly, the raw material extraction So basically, what is bread made of? Bread are made of high protein meat flour, water, yeast Granulated sugar or sugar, milk, and oil. These are the basic ingredients on how to make a bread. Where do the ingredients to make bread came from? For high protein wheat flour, high protein flour is milk from hard grain wheat and has protein content between 11 till 13.5%. Since it is a wheat flour, so it came from the wheat plant or wheat grain. To make wheat flour, the grinding of wheat or rice occurs in the country of production of the bread. For example, if 
the bread is produced in Malaysia, so the wheat will be grind at Malaysia. And since wheat plantation involves agriculture activities, so it also uses fertilizer. The usage of fertilizer can cause the emissions of nitrous oxide and carbon dioxide. Next is milk. Milk came from cows. And from cattle dairy, it can cause the release of methane and ammonia emissions. For granulated sugar, sugar came from the skin plant. Sugarcane plantation also involves agriculture activities. It also emits nitrous oxide and carbon dioxide like wheat. For oil, the types of oil is highly depends on what country that the bread is produced. For example, if the country that will produce the bread is Malaysia, so the oil that is generally used is palm oil. Palm oil plantation also involves agricultural activities. So, it also emits nitrous oxide and carbon dioxide. For the last ingredient, yeast. In 1859, Louis Pasteur, a French chemist and microbiologist, discovered something. Pasteur discovered that this was actually a living single cell organism able to actively grow and reproduce. As a result, it led to the drastic improvements in food preservation and sterilization. For bread, the yeast that is used is baker's yeast or Manufacturing process. This manufacturing process is to show how bread is produced in a large scale. The first process is mixing. This is where the ingredients such as flour, oil, milk and yeast are added. Next is dividing or molding. The dough that have been mixed will be divided and molded. Next is intermediate proofing. This is where the dough is leaving to rise. Next is sheeting. Sheeting is where the dough will be pressed into desired level of thickness. The dough will be leaving to rise again in final proofing. The next process is baking. After the bread has been baked, it will undergo through the process of cooling. Next, after the bread is cooled down, it will undergo through the process of slicing. The bread will be sliced. Lastly, after the bread has been sliced, it will be stitched into plastic sheets. Depends on the company that produces the bread. Next is distribution. Bread that have been manufactured in a factory will be transported into a local store. The transportation process from the factory to the local stores can emit greenhouse gases such as carbon monoxide to the environment. The usage of bread. The typical white bread can be eaten alone or be eaten with spread or gravy. It can also be used as a breadcrumb to coat fried food provide a crispy texture for them. Bread can also be used to make desserts such as pudding or bread pudding. Lastly, the end of life for bread.
the plastic packaging that is used to wrap bread is generally thrown into the dustbin. For bread, it will end up into our digestive system and will be excreted into feces matter. Since bread is considered as food, since food that is not eaten is be thrown into the bin as well. For the effects of bread, since the production of bread emits gases such as carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, and nitrous oxide, it can cause global warming potential. The production of bread can also cause air pollution. This is because of the emission of gases such as ammonia, methane, and carbon monoxide. Apart from that, bread could also cause water pollution. This is because of the cattle rearing. Water pollution could also be caused due to the agricultural activities. Some of them causes water pollution due to surface water runoff if the drainage are not properly managed. Besides that, the production of bread can also cause plastic waste pollution. The plastic waste pollution is because of the packaging of bread. Lastly, the mitigation. For the recommendations to reduce the impacts of bread production are can go local or support local. This can also reduce transportation based pollution. Next, instead of using cow based milk for the production of bread, we can also switch to plant based milk. Apart from that, we can also practice recycling. Furthermore, we can also bake our own bread instead of buying the largely commercialized one reduce the manufacturing impact. Lastly, we can avoid plastic waste pollution by not littering. This video is brought to you by my lecturer, Dr. Amir Hamza Ben Sharani, and me myself, Mosfira Ventina.